Welcome YouTubers, and today I have an update for you with the multi-ROM and installing Ubuntu Touch. Alright, here let me go back. Alright, in the XDA forum, if you go to the link will be below the forum for multi-ROM. It starts off at post 410. So let me go back to that post. All right. Okay. It says here that um he's just released a new multi-ROM, uh, and it helps aid in the installation of Ubuntu. So the zip files at the very beginning are probably no good. So what you want to do is go back. Okay. You go to your multi-ROM app, and then what you want to do is you want to update this. Probably gonna you have to update your recovery, and then it's gonna give you this option down here to install Ubuntu Touch. You've got different, uh, I guess they're like trusty levels. What I found on the Ubuntu uh, website was that they had these options out here. It's just it was a really great idea that the creator of this ROM put it all together here, so it's easy for you to do. Your version is gonna be 206, and you just hit install. It's going to run through its program, then it's going to tell you it needs to reboot. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reboot. After it all installs, it'll pop up and show you, but I've already done it. So we're going to go ahead and reboot to recovery. Of course. All right, so this should help alleviate a lot of questions and uh, about Ubuntu and how it works, the touch on the Nexus 7. Um, there was uh, a lot of issues, I guess there still are, because it's still kind of in a, you know, alpha or beta testing, so you're going to have a few quirky things, but for the most part, it works really well. Um, there's a lot of things you can do. You do have your terminal uh, emulator. You have a few things that you can, you can do, um, and it's just only going to get better and better and better. So once this pops up, you can go to Advanced, Multi-ROM. Well, I'm going to show you where I've got it, but what's going to happen is when you go back to this, it's going to install everything like it would if you went to add ROM and click Ubuntu Touch. So it's going to do all of it for you. However, when you go back to list ROMs, you'll see it right there. You touch trusty. All right, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to reboot system. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to boot into Ubuntu and I'm going to show you guys how that works so so you have like an idea all right we're going to hit that touch trusty hit boot all right I know I did skip the installation it, just, it takes a little bit because it has to download all those files those two big big old files I guess and then restart and it loads and does all the same stuff it just does it for you which is really good and um, it's kind of like a nightly too so you there will be updates as time goes on, so you just check out the form or whatever, or just click on the uh, multi-ROM app there and see if there's any updates to be uh, downloaded and go on with it. And then, let's go back to here. There you go. There's Ubuntu. It's just great, man, because, I mean, it just works really well. There we go. See this? your good stuff here, your applications, whatever you want to add to this. Um, install, see I installed XDA. Um, there's a few, a few other things I've installed, I guess. I, here we go. More suggestions. Look at this stuff. This is great. You can go all the way down. You can just take a look at all these things that you can put on here. It's great. Really, 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 really awesome. Makes it a lot more enjoyable and things work pretty smooth. See right here if you go to terminal, bam, you get a terminal here. And you have the option to give it a second to load up. There you go. Excuse me. 
that back down if we can't. There we go. It'll probably take a second to load up here, but it'll give you the option. If not, you just, it's like a testing phase, so you want to, excuse me, <clears throat> there you go, back out of that. There you go, some of this stuff, it's just going to take a little bit to work uh, to get it going through all your settings, a little refresh and upload. So we're going to go over here to system settings real quick. And then I'll show you about this phone. Okay, Ubuntu 14.04, Revert uh, R206, tells you exactly Asus Nexus 7 2013 Wi Fi. This is awesome. So, I hope this helped out a little bit. It's pretty short and sweet. Um, it's a new update. I'm going to go ahead and link my old YouTube video to this one so y'all uh, can download the right um, uh, file and Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll help you through it. Thanks a lot.